You can make the world's simplest electric motor using a D-cell, a little piece of sandpaper, some copper wire, two paper clips, a rubber band and a small circular magnet. That's all you need. You only need about 60 centimetres of the copper wire, that's about an arm's length, and you need to wind it around something to make a coil. Now you could wind it around the D-cell battery if you like, or a large pen, and that's what I'm going to use. So I'll begin by winding the wire around and around and around, and you keep winding it until it's almost all taken up, except for about 10 centimetres each end. Then you slide it off the pen, like this, and then you need to make it into a tight little coil by winding that around a couple of times. And then directly opposite, you wind the other end around twice so that you end up with a little flat coil and two straight pieces each end, like that. Now, this copper wire is enameled, which means the metal itself is covered by a clear lacquer. And what you need to do with your sandpaper is to get rid of part of that on each of the straight pieces poking out the sides of your coil and here's how you do it. Now you hold that little coil of wire almost vertically at the edge of the table and put the straight piece over a piece of cardboard then using the sandpaper just remove all of the enamel on just one half of that straight piece of wire. Then you turn it around and you do exactly the same on the other straight piece of wire making sure that the enamel is being removed from the same surface of wire as you had on the other side. So I have a flat coil of copper wire. I've removed the enamel from underneath those straight pieces, but not on top. Now to make the power supply for your electric motor, first of all, bend one of the large paper clips like that to make a V and then do the same thing on the other side. Now the battery needs a rubber band to go around it. Now I've selected a rubber band so that it stretches tightly from one end of the D-cell to the other. There we are. Now, here's what you do with the paper clips. They go in at each end of that D-cell, and if you press that one around there, it should stay there by itself on the positive side, and then do the same thing at the negative end, the bottom end of the battery, pushing that in there. And that is your power supply and support. Two more things need to be done. I'm taking the disc magnet and placing it on the side of the battery. It sticks there because the battery case is made of steel. Now, here comes the copper wire coil. I'm going to drop that down onto the supporting paper clips and immediately it starts rocking and then spinning. Now, it rocks at first because as electric current passes through the coil, it turns it into an electromagnet, which is attracted towards the little permanent magnet sitting on the side of the battery. Then it turns itself off, then on again. Now if it goes back into the rocking motion, you might need to give it a little push with your finger and then it'll start rotating again. For every rotation of the coil, it gets a push for the first half, then it freewheels for the second half of the rotation. On off, on off, on off, keep spinning all the time. 